this week we're headed to the rivers to go springtime speckled trout fishing and then going near shore to catch spawning sheephead. After that, the kids and I are headed to the beach to build forts and explore sand island. Today we're headed to the river to do a little speckled trout fishing and red fishing, seeing what bites. The tide should be start coming in around eight in the morning and it's about 32 degrees and it's supposed to warm up to about 66 degrees this afternoon. So a little cold front came in last week and hopefully that was the last cold front of the year and it starts warming up and getting ready for springtime fishing. Got him guys, saw him hit it. Saw him hit it. There it is. Woo! Oh no! And he fell in the water just like that. Man, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Nice solid speckled trout. Oh yeah. That was right there. Picked him up using my depth finder here. A solid speckled trout. Yeah. What you got there, man? Well, that's him right there. A little spin. Dad, you ain't go. Nice job, man. Dad, you ain't go. Yep, you can let him go. Good cat. <laughs> he got you wet, huh? He's cold. Whoa. There you go. I'll let you let him go. He might let himself go. Oh, Alright buddy, good job man. Come in. Bryce is on a roll today. He got his second one. That's a good one. That yeah, is a good one man. Can we keep him? Nah, we're gonna let him go. Why? Nah, why? Um, he's not too... Not too big? Yeah. Do you one? want to eat fish tonight or something? Yeah, I'm doing. I don't think he's legal. You can measure him though. I think he might be right at 15 inches. Throw that one back. We'll keep the next one if we get another one. Good job, man. Way to catch it. Oh yeah, Bryce. Daddy's caught up to you. <laughs> All right, I got one now. You need help? Bring your thing over here. Caught him on the swamp thing. Slick Jr. Pretty little guy. That one was too small to eat. There we go, we got three. No, we're, I only caught one. This is my second one. Oh yeah, good speckled trout. You can eat that one. Right there. All the speckled trout have been all about the same size. Bryce is gonna measure them out for us. Yeah. Here you go. Grab them. You got them? Yeah. Can I have a two? Yeah. You gotta put his, his face. Put his face against the bunk. Are right, you wanna do that way? All right, he's what? I can't see. You gotta turn this way. Sixteen inches. We can eat them. He's mad. He actually 
bad. bad. Bryce wants a couple to go in the box, so we're throwing this one in the box. Oh, I almost dropped them in the water. Are you watching my hands now? I watch my hands here. Well, let me turn the live oil on. Yeah. Right, watch your hands. Just wait till the water gets high. Okay. Bryce and I had a good time fishing last weekend for speckled trout. The weather has finally warmed up enough where I think we can get offshore and catch some bull reds and sheephead. So that's what we're going after today. We're making our way right now down to Jemison's. We're gonna be buying some dead shrimp and I've also tied on some big tuna poppers to better target these redfish. We got about 15 more minutes before we get to the boat ramp. We're gonna be launching the boat out of Billy Gold Hole and then heading about three miles out and we're gonna be targeting Dixie Bar and some oar rigs that are just right past it. We're gonna be fishing probably in about 25 to 30 feet of water. And guys, y'all excited about getting out there? Sure, I'm sure. Yes! I'm gonna go to the beach. And they're ready to go to the beach, so we will be stopping at the beach after we go fishing. We are out on the Gulf. It's been a year since we've been out here. Bryce, you excited, man? Yeah. Yeah? I'm excited. It's a little choppy, but it's not too bad. We're gonna head out to these oil rigs right out here and see if we can catch some sheephead. Hopefully we see some red drum, maybe school or not. So we're gonna run over close to Dixie Bar. All right, here we go. The news about where to catch sheephead is definitely getting around. On our way out to the oar rigs, we passed by five rigs before finally finding one without a cluster of boats around it. The kids were fascinated since they have never witnessed crew members being transferred from a crew boat to an oar rig before. It was quite an exciting sight for them. Crew boats are often the preferred method for unloading crew members onto near shore oar rigs in the vicinity of Dolphin Island due to the relative short distance from the island to the offshore rigs. This preference likely stems from the boat's ability to accommodate larger numbers of personnel and equipment in a single trip, thereby streamlining logistical operations and reducing cost. There's one. Here you go, Riley. Riley, come reel it in. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Put it between legs. Get the net, Bryce. First sheep head. 
All right. You can't open it. It's right here. Bryce is going to come net it. Here you go. Get right there. There you go. Get it into the net. Perfect. Good job, Raleigh. I tried. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. That's a good eating fish there. All right, step on down. I actually saw him hit on the um, live scope right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's walk back here. Step down. Grab onto this and step down. It is so rough out here right now. It is not easy fishing. Um, it's probably one to two foot seas, but it's just so choppy. I definitely don't have my sea legs on me yet this year. I might have to start going fishing a little bit more. Ah! Woo. You got short tails, Dad. Uh, I'm not sticking my finger in there. That's just too close. I have to get the um Let's see. We gotta get the D hookers too. Alright. One in the box. Right after catching that fish, we got called off the oil rig by the crew members on the oil rig. So we moved to another oil rig. But one thing I wanted to show you guys is this rig hook that I'm about to throw out here. This thing is pretty cool. You don't have to get too close to the oil rigs. You can just toss it out there and hook onto the metal members. This keeps you from having to tie a rope actually directly to the oil rig. And when you're getting off the oil rig, you just go up to it, grab the hook, perfect. take it off, and you're good to go. We ended up fishing there for about 10 minutes and we could see fish on the live scope but my bait couldn't get to them because the current is actually running kind of parallel with the oil rig and my bait was kind of drifting off to the left of the screen Ooh. and so I wanted to go ahead and de-hook from the oil rig and troll our motor up to see if we can catch some fish on that right hand corner. See the line going down. Well, I missed it now. There he is, he's hitting it. There he is. Bryce! Bryce! Yeah. Right there. For real. There you go, man. Get him in. Small little guy. Oh, maybe it might be a spade fish, though. Good job, buddy. Oh, that's a sheephead. All right. Get him in. Oh, small guy. Here you go. We got to measure him and make sure he's legal. He's so small, Bryce. We're going to let him go. He's too small. We'll try to catch one more and then we'll go. You want to touch him? Daddy's going in the water. Dad. <laughs> I want him to be my pet. You want to be a pet putting him in the fish aquarium? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Pretty little sheep pet though. 
All right, one more or are we done? Are y'all ready to go to the beach? Beach. Beach, beach time? Beach. beach All right, we're beach. headed to the beach. There's a lot of boats out here. We got a really late start. We got out here around 12 o'clock. It's after rough right beach. now. After the beach, I'm gonna go back fishing. After the beach, we'll go back fishing. Maybe we'll fish on the beach a little bit right now, but we just got too much, too late of a start out here. But we're gonna head here, head out of here, and head to Sand Island. As soon as we were getting ready to leave, we noticed a tugboat headed this way. It looked like they were assisting some dredging operations as helping refurbish the east end of Dolphin Island. I'm not sure if they were coming over here to eat lunch or if they were just coming over here to take a break, but it gave us an excellent opportunity to get some great aerial photographs of this tugboat. Hey, Rye. Hey. You enjoying the water? So, Shannon picked us up subways. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy my, my sandwich here. And we're at the beach. Maybe we'll go walk around. Not really sure yet. It's windy, it's rough, but the kids wanna swim in the water. Is there anything underneath it? Nope, I'm strong. You are strong. All right, let's go flip another one. Nothing underneath that oh, one. I never my fish. What is this? Ah. Oh, it's like a big nut. Oh, ants. Oh, there's a dead bird right here. Where? Right here. Yeah. See his beak. Yeah. Oh, there, there's another dead bird. Yeah. Dad, you found a dead bird again? Mm mm. Tons of wood. Ouch! My feet. Hurt. Ouch. 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 Ooh. I hurt. Let's walk down this way and see what's down there. Whoa, let's see if there's something underneath this one. Nothing. What'd you find? I found a big hole. Big hole? Yeah. It's not that big hole. That's OCOC. Big hole. Who did that? Big hole. Yeah, I was up in it. <coughs> maybe, maybe a fossil uh, coyote did that. Coyote did that? We should get all of our sticks. Oh, wow, you're getting strong. We should build like a fort. Let's let's grab a whole bunch of sticks and build a fort. Yeah! I, I got this one. <laughs> Whoa, you almost took out Bryce. I got that one. You gotta get a big stick. That's a small stick. <laughs> get that big one. You okay? All right, bring that one back towards the boat. I'm gonna get this one over here. All right, I got this big one. Let's let's pull it over to the boat. You do got the biggest one. Big 
Wait, 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 Right here. That's the sink. All right. Bring the couch over here then. Pull your pants up. Pull your pants up. Oh. Bring it on the sink, Dad. That's your couch. So you can wash your feet. All right, I need that. Hold this right here. How? The fish. There we go. All right, put some dirt on it. This is as far as we're gonna get on our fort. Mom's saying it's time to go. No. We gotta pack up stuff and then head back to the house. All right, guys, expecting more fishing trips from us shortly. We haven't been fishing too much this past um, kind of spring and winter time, but hopefully we can change that. I think things are about to slow down a little bit at work and we'll be able to get out on the water.